Once again, we're back at PF International in Lincolnshire for round 10, the final round of the Tutor Money Super 1 British Karting Championships for 2017. It's Judgment Day when the points are tallied and we find out whose names will be on the Roll of Honour in the Super 1 archives. There's a huge crowd turned out, including a Super 1 fan dog who's brought her own chair. Straight into the action with Honda Cadet. Jake Santon and Alan Taddei in the commentary box and Oliver Behrman and Sebastian Block on the front row. From Brown and Ellingham, Millar and Charter, Mikuris, Tolly, Elwell and Brurard are in the top 10. Then we have Casabanti, the rookie, leading the charge behind. Rigby in P13 should be worth the watch. James Walker starting P17 is definitely going to be coming through. We've got the likes of Koskun Erfen down in the 20s. And we've got Lorenzo Cordell and Sonny Smith off the back. They will be charging through. Away we go. Standing start, of course, in Honda Cadet. And already Oliver Behrman, the GP plate, has gone into the lead. No problem at all. Sebastian Block chasing him down. We ride on board with Theo Makuris, who's got the 19 to his left there. That's Owen Tolly on the inside line, trying to go around this sweeping Right, a left hander all the way round up to the top of the bridge. This is where you can get some really good positions made up. Look at them all as they streak through 34 of the most incredible cadet racers in the country. Now that is the number 70 of Miller. We're riding on board with uh, Tolly this time and they're chasing down the 29 into the hairpin they go. And that is Harvey Charter, the 29, as they run the way through. Whoops, a little bit of a moment there for the 16. Lorenzo Cordell already trying to make up places, and he's made up a couple, but he runs a little bit wide there through the first hairpin. Here we go again. That's Aston Miller making the move on the inside of Charter. Very nicely done as we ride on board once again with Theo Makuris, I think it is. Well, it's either that or the 19 of Owen Tolly. We've got a couple of on boards here for this one. Sebastian Block, the 97, in there behind the O plate now, up into second position. That is Lucas Ellingham, and the fans are definitely enjoying this one. There, in fact, is Team Block. That's Shauna Block and Little Pippa on the seat there, watching on. Oliver Behrman, though, championship leader, the GP plate, looking good in the front already. Look, he's already, well, he did have, I was going to say, a two or three card length lead, but that's just evaporated now. Up on the inside, there goes the 32 of Frankie Elwell, the rookie, up on the inside. Now he's got the 74 to his left. He's going to get hung out to dry. Oh, dear, oh, dear, but the 74 of Theo Mercurius and the 28 of Alfie Rigby, who is charging through the field, Alfie Rigby, coming up through the order there. Now here comes, uh, well, Lucas Ellingham briefly led the race, but back onto the inside line goes the GP plate of Oliver Behrman, and Ellingham goes down to fourth position behind Sebastian Block and Archie Brown, up into third position now on the seven plate. Brilliant stuff from Archie Brown as he gets himself right there into the mix. So this is going to be very interesting at the front of the field. Just keeping an eye on some of the drivers moving up through the field. Looks as though Ginshard is on the move. So is the Japanese racer, Kian Berta. James Walker, we did say, down in about uh, 17th position on the grid. He is charging forward, so working very hard indeed, James Walker. Keep an eye on him in the field. He will be coming through the number eight. So as they go through the final chicane, and actually both Sonny Smith and Lorenzo Cordell are coming through the field fairly well as well. We're on board with Owen Tolly. That is the 31 in front of us. That is Brewer, the Virtus driver. Justin Brewer hanging on in there. Look, you almost rub bumpers as you come through. But up the inside, Owen Tolly makes the move on the left-hander. Brewer is still there. He's not going to let him go without a fight. And there is a good battle as they come up and over the crest, over the bridge and down the drop. That is so fast when you get back on the throttle. It launches you down this main straight and then into the right-hand hairpin. Another short burst up towards the left-hand hairpin. Those are the only two points on the circuit, really, where you have to break. Uh, just get a word in edgeways. Uh, <laughs> Terribly uh, sorry, Alan. <laughs> OK. Uh, we're on board with a couple of carts in this one. Mercuris, this is uh, Owen Tolly we're on with here. We're also on board with Theo Mercuris, who is on the move. 31, Justin Brewer up the inside. Uh, Oliver Green, who was the 64 cart. It's a GP plate, Oliver Behrman. He uh, 
is the championship leader as things stand. That's Sebastian Block in it's second place. Brown is leading. Team, team Block are going to be having uh, all sorts of uh, things going on up there. The uh, dog Pipper is going to be yapping away, I'm sure, in support <laughs> of uh, her driver. Well, Brown is leading the way currently at the moment from Block and Behrman. Behrman makes the lunge up the inside in the left-hander. Block is going to try and hold it right round the outside. Then he cuts back in to try and get more speed off the turn into the next left-right section. So Archie Brown, the seven plate, leading the way at the moment. It's a fantastic tussle for the last final of the Honda Cadet season in 2017. That was a big wayward moment from Oliver Stewart, the Scotsman. As up the inside goes Behrman, up on the inside and takes the place from Archie Brown, looks behind him. As if to say, what do you think you're doing? Look, he's defending already. This is very close. Up the inside. That's a little bit of a nudge there as Block goes out wide. Aston Miller tries to get through and gets hung out to dry there. The uh, 70 of Miller has made his way up into second position there in front of Archie Brown. And look at what it's done to the rest of the gaggle as they all tighten up. Theo McCouris took advantage there. He was a good sort of 10 metres or so back. And look at that, there's 74 right there behind Sebastian Block now, the on-board cameraman. So uh, he's certainly right in the mix to win this one. He did drop back through the field, I think, at the start. Started, I think, P7. Dropped back through the field and is making his way back towards the front. There he is, the 74. That is Theo Makuris under the bridge. Come through the loop one more time. Behrman just looking over his shoulder there into the uh, bridge section, the newest section of the PFI circuit, just to make sure how close everybody is. Well, they're working together to close him down, so it's not going to be long. Just keeping an eye on a few more drivers in the field. We saw that man, Oliver Stewart, getting a little bit sideways, but he's making up places very well indeed, as is Daryl Taylor, actually, a little further back. He's making up quite a few, uh, but the man really on the move is Sonny Smith, started dead last, and he's already made up about a dozen places, so we need to keep an eye on him. And Lorenzo Cordell, who was alongside him on that row because of problems in the early free fun. Look at this squabble! Absolutely incredible stuff, as now Oliver Behrman is shunted down to P4. Theo McCurry is now up to third place. That was a great move there. Took advantage of the cart squabbling in front. So there's Theo there in third with the onboard camera. So we'll be keeping an eye on his charge towards the front. That's him picked out there as he go through the S's onto the start finish straight one more time. And there's a good dozen carts in this one. Back on board here with Theo McGorris. That's uh, Archie Brown in front as they go through the start-finish line. Is he going to get the chance to go up the inside in the first part of the loop? This is an overtaking opportunity. Here he comes and through to second place. McGorris up to second, but drops straight back down to third as Behrman goes through. It looks like he's gone back down to fourth as Brown goes back through. And there's several overtakes going on behind them as well. This is going to be tough to keep an eye on. That is Oliver Stewart trying to make the move on the 99 there of Kyle Casabas. And look at the lead squabble again. Beerman has got Aston Miller and Archie Brown right behind him. In fact, that's uh, Miller having dropped back to third. Look at him absolutely hugging the inside line. He's practically married to the white line on the inside line there as he works his way through. Look at that. Justin Brewer making up a place or two on Greenall off the turn. Greenall now tries to get the inside line to stop our cameraman. Owen oh, Tolly coming through. Tolly now changes line and shifts position. The O plate in there as well, get, uh, getting a couple of positions lost there. Lucas Ellingham tries to make up the move block tries to go there on the inside of the 70 of Aston Miller I think that is yes it is for third position it's not happening yet and these two out in front Behrman and Brown have managed to get away for the moment but I doubt they're going to hold this lead for a while look Behrman looks over his shoulder Brown's coming in over your right shoulder already mate he's going to take the lead Archie Brown sweeps through and takes the lead through turn one brilliant bit of racing there but it's all going to kick off behind look here comes Sebastian Block around the outside up in a second position Behrman didn't even see him coming amazing as the field just concertina is together the cavalry is coming over the hill start barking Pippa Block your driver's up to second I say your driver your brother's up to second I should say and more defending going on up to the hairpin I'm not sure quite why there's so much defensive driving going on this early in the race but it's given us oh. some great race action <laughs> the 32 Frankie Elwell takes to the grass on the inside line round the outside we've got all sorts of carts everywhere now that is Frankie Elwell taking us on the inside we're on board with Owen Tolly once again the 19 oh sorry that's Theo Mercurius there's Owen Tolly that's our other cameraman and that is now what it looks like to watch the 32 as he runs around the circuit Frankie Elwell having an absolutely cracking race. A little bit further on into the race, Oliver Behrman, still your race leader again. And now he's battling away with Sebastian Block. So Block is in there in second place. The 64 has made his way up into 
third position. That's Oliver Greenall, who has worked his way up for goodness knows how far back. Oliver Greenall doing an absolutely cracking job there in the 64 in third position. He started way back in 22nd in this race, would you believe? Oh, Rigby and Bruin having a bit of a scrap there with Owen Tolly as they work their way up through the bridge. The 95 gets a little bit loose as well. That is Sonny Smith, the man charging through from the back of the field. That is James Walker having come up from about 17th position on the grid. He is now threatening top six here as a, a decent overall finish to his season if he catches up with these guys who are jostling again. Greenall alongside Block, Brown, Miller and the O-plate, Louis Casellingham in there as well. All five of them scrapping together behind the GP plate, Oliver Behrman and Lucas Ellingham might be able to get a couple of places here from the back of the queue. They the squabble again for position. Greenall is left out to dry as Brown, then Miller, then Ellingham all get through and that next cart in there is James Walker. That is how quickly he's made the progress through the field. Fastest that, Sonny Smith, having started last, is now right up in there in the mix. He's knocking on the door of the top 10, would you believe? And they're all allowing Oliver Behrman to take the win here because they're now scrapping Bob. over second place. That's Archie Brown through to second. Blocks lost two places, so that's Brown and Millar through. Now he's having to cover the inside line to stop Ellingham coming around the outside. Greenall's to his left, though, on the inside. James Walker gets in there as well and makes up a place. Oh, there's contact! That looks like... We've got Block and Greenall both going off the circuit there. Disaster for Sebastian Block and for Oliver Greenall. Both of them having an absolutely cracking end to their season. Greenall up from 22nd, Block from the front row. Let's have a look at it again. There was three of them all trying to get in there. Four, in fact, as look, the O-plane of Ellingham tries to go on the inside of the 97 of Block. It, there's a little bit of a rub and there's nowhere for Block to go but into the side of Oliver Greenall. But Behrman is going to finish his season on a high. He comes through for the chequered flag. Absolutely terrific. Oliver Behrman ends his season in fine form. Archie Brown delighted with second in front of Miller. Walker is fourth from Ellingham, Makuras, Rigby, Brewer, Tolly, Ginchard and Kean Berta. Amazing places made up from Walker, Ginchard and Berta. All 13 apiece. Sonny Smith made up 22 as did Cordell making up 20. Oliver, just talk us through the race. Um, well, I started pole. It was a bit of a hack, but we came out on top. And uh, who do you want to thank for your season this year? You, you had a difficult start to the season, didn't you? But you come really strong in the end. Yeah, we struggled initially on the zip cart, but once we moved over to the Synergy, we found some pace and started the race wins started rolling in. So who do you want to thank? Uh, Virtus Motorsport, Bontoft Engines and my, my family. The final championship standings are subject to an appeal, but Oliver Behrman has it on 1086. Theo Makuris, the leading rookie. After the break, drama.